Police say excessive speed may have been a factor in a deadly Friday night crash in San Pedro. That's where a car plowed into a home. The driver was killed. The home has significant damage. KCAL 9's Candace Crone is live in San Pedro tonight with the latest on this crash investigation and reaction from that building manager, Candace. That's right, a man and his family who were inside the home at the time of the crash are still shaken by it all. You can see those large wooden planks uh, that have pretty much boarded up uh, the side of the home where the car plowed right through. It's hard to believe looking at that damage that no one inside was hurt. Check out this video. Mark White showed us the damage inside his home. He was sitting on the couch around 930 last night when he heard a loud bang, then was thrown off his couch when the car slammed into the front room. From Sky 9, you can see just how bad the damage was. Authorities say the female driver was pronounced dead on scene. Investigators are looking into exactly what caused the crash, but neighbors say the car was speeding at the time. The impact also cut a gas line and firefighters worked quickly to shut it off. White says moments after the crash, he rushed out to try and help the driver, but to no avail. Me and another guy were trying to pull stuff away to see if the person in the car was alive or not and we didn't get to the gas line broke. White says uh, there used to be a guardrail out in front of his building, but it was removed several years ago. After last night's crash, he's adamant about trying to get it back. Uh, back out here live, the uh, driver's identity uh, has not yet been released. Uh, White's daughter, who is pregnant, and her boyfriend were also inside at the time of the crash, but fortunately, they were not hurt. Live in San Pedro, Candace Crone, KCAL 9 News. Back to you guys. It was just a, such a horrific situation. Glad that family is okay. Thank you, Candace.